the word shruti is um, fairly common um, in contemporary Carnatic music, in casual parlance, the word shruti means the pitch, the fundamental, the tonic at which a person, um, with which the person performs. So for instance, um, my tonic is G or G sharp. So that is my shruti. So I will say my shruti is 5, that is a fifth white key. But in the tradition itself, the Lakshana Grantha tradition, this meaning came on much later. The more uh, ancient meaning of Shruti, it refers to smaller pitch intervals between Swaras. When we were looking at the 12 Swarasthanas in an earlier session, the next pitch, the, the Swarasthana after Sa, Sa we, we saw that, that is the next pitch. And we also mentioned and we also saw that we can actually discern pitches between these two. Sa, Sa, Ri, Sa, Ri. And on this pitch is not yet at uh, Ri 1. So there are smaller intervals between the 12 Swarasthanas that we uh, know. Theoretically, of course, there are infinite, but even within the range of human discernment, any or normal human ear can discern more minute differences than these 12 Swarasthanas. Now, these are called Shruti. But it is interesting that the number of such, these the smaller intervals, that number has been given in the tradition. Theoretically infinite pitches are possible, but in actual, within the range of human discernment, how many are there? And there is a number given in the tradition and that is 22. So we speak of 22 Shrutis in one sthai. There are 7 Swaras, 12 Swarasthanas and 22 Shrutis. How was this number arrived at? It was arrived at empirically. An experiment was conducted 2000 years ago and a description of this experiment is found in the Natya Shastra of Bharata Muni. This Natya Shastra is quite a remarkable work. It is a landmark treatise in the history of Indian performing and literary arts. It has left a deep impact on the, on the dance, music and literary forms of India. In itself, the Natya Shastra is a, it concerns itself with theatre. Natya means theatre, but it is not theatre as we know it today, which is essentially dialogue dominated. It is dominated by dialogue. Today's theatre is dialogue based. There is ancient theatre, whether of India or even of Greece. There, there were many other aspects to theatre. Dialogue was only one part. Besides, stylized bodily movements were a part of theatre. Music was a part of theatre. Dance and costumes themselves, heavily stylized costumes. So all this went to uh, went into the making of production of theatre and Natya Shastra is a manual of theatre. How do you produce, how to produce a successful play? That is what is the concern of Natya Shastra. But there is much, much more in it uh, than just rules and instructions. The 
Semana is the seminal theory of rasa. All Indians must, all of us have heard of the uh, Navarasas. But the origin of the, exp the concept of rasa is in the Natya Shastra. And the 20th chapter of um, Natya Shastra concerns itself with music. And it is in this chapter, the 28th chapter, that we find a description of this experiment that I just spoke of, on the basis of which Bharata Muni suggested, propounded that there are 22 shrutis in a sthai. So, what was this experiment like? It was very simple, really. He took two veenas, and the veena of those times was not like our veena. It was more like a harp. So, there were no frets, but there were many strings, each string tuned to a certain pitch. So, what he did was, when the, these two veenas, one of them was an achala veena, that was he would not tamper with the strings, that str those strings were tuned and they were not tampered with. The other was a chala veena, where the pitches could be adjusted, tuned higher or lower. And a very simple process of, he started off with the pa, the panchamaswara, and by lowering the pitch of the panchama, step by step, you lower it just a little, so that you are able to discern, yes, this is a slightly lower pitch. Now, this is a slightly more lower pitch and so on, he arrived at, he, he, he calculated how many times he had to lower the pitch to arrive at the ma of the achala veena. And this way he go, went on through the octave and he arrived at the number 22. Now, this number 22 shrutis has not been contested in the tradition everybody accepts that there are 22 shrutis and interestingly i have found references to experiments conducted in more modern times uh, aj ellis conducted an experiment a similar calculation really it was not an experiment based on calculation that the the ratio between any two pitches that you know that are separated by the least discernible difference that that is a certain ratio and given that ratio he calculated that there will be so many microtones in an octave and that number also comes very close to 22 so what does the word shruti mean then Shuyate iti shruti. It can be heard. What that which can be heard is shruti. And in this sense, actually, the word shruti probably means an interval. It is this interval, this difference can be heard. A difference between two pitches can be heard, and that is a shruti. Sari. Between these two, there are two or three pitches that can be heard. And that is the, those are Shrutis. So, Shruti, even within the tradition, they, it, it, some texts talk of it as intervals between pitches, other texts talk of it as the microtones themselves. But in any case, the tradition treats Shrutis with, with great. Uh, diligence and in modern Carnatic music, many musicologists feel that the concept of Shruti is not really very relevant. The concept of 22 Shrutis certainly is perhaps not relevant. That is because the music of Bharata's times or even of Sangeeta Ratnakara time it is, it is very different from the kind of music that we know today. So, the 22 Shrutis was, it was propounded 
in the context of that music and today it has uh, it doesn't have the same relevance certainly but uh, it is also a fact that simply as an idea it fascinates many minds especially those with a mathematical bent uh, there are many musicians or many uh, aficionados or uh, listeners of Carnatic music with uh, a mathematical bent, they have tried to figure out the ratios between these 22 shrutis and it is, um, it is certainly an idea that uh, people are not willing to let go easily. And even in terms of actual practice, it is not entirely irrelevant. The number may be irrelevant, 22 shrutis may be irrelevant, but the fact that there are microtonal inflections in Carnatic music and that in that sense Shruti is relevant. Let me demonstrate. So, the Swara is just this. But in certain ragas, this re will be nuanced in a different way. Gari, which is not re, it's not that. Re, re, re. It doesn't quite reach that pitch position. It's lower. And Carnatic music is filled with these uh, other positions between the swarasthanas they are excited these pitches are used constantly so in that sense shruti is not irrelevant though certainly yes the context in which the, the concept of shruti was propounded that no longer obtains the, the context the original context in which the idea of 22 shrutis was propounded that music was certainly very different from today's music but um, in as an idea that it is microtones that we are talking about small inflections between swarasthanas that are used in music in that sense shruti is very much still relevant <laughs> 